Well, hey there, YouTube Looseness Eyes here. And today, I got another tutorial in Cinema 4D for you guys. So, um, I don't know if you've heard or not. I mean, it's it's not like a new plugin or anything, but I mean, only some people know about it. Like, I just found out about it recently, like, maybe two weeks ago. So, I mean, it's a really simple plugin. It's called Reaper X or Reaper FX, whatever you guys want to call it. But I'm making a, a tutorial on how to use it. Okay, so... What you're gonna want to do is open up, you know, Cinema 4D. Open up a Lightroom if you have it, and then go into MoGraph, Mo Text. I'm gonna shrink it down just so it looks good for me. There we go. I'm gonna make it say loose, just like every other thing I've done in my tutorials. Fillet cap. Oh shoot. Okay. Put both fillet caps on. Make the radius one on each. Move this over a little bit. Make the font. Uh, what am I going to use? Yeah, I'll just use the typical Transformers one. Oh. Okay. Alright. So, um,. Reaper FX is really, really easy, and it gives it such a cool effect. And I'll show you guys how to do it. So, um, go into your MoText, go to Caps, go to Fillet Type, and make sure that's on Engraved. So it kind of, you know, just outlines it, or makes the outline of the each letter pop out. So what you're going to want to do now is have two colors. Normally, I'll use, like, black and another color. It looks like I'm going to be using, um, actually... I'm going to use gray and silver today. Or, sorry, silver and gold today. Alright, let me just place those on there. Alright. Now, based on what color you want on the front side only, you're going to put that, like... Alright, let me show you an example. I'll just delete those. Okay. So, um, my secondary color here is the one I want only on the front. So, I'm going to go to Selection. I'm going to click the material, go to Selection, and type in capital C one on my keyboard. And it makes it so the front side is gray and then the rest is um gold including the outline so just you know if like a if you guys are trying to do it all you have to do is put the color that you want the outside like say your rim you want the rims to be red replace my gold color with red and then make the silver color like black or whatever but still go back into the uh, front color and put in C1 so you know it only affects the front side of the letter all right now that that's done, um, you're going to want to click the MoText, copy and paste it, Control c Control v if you didn't know. Now on your keyboard, click the letter C, just C, and it, um, it makes every letter, every letter editable. Now go into each, this comes up every single time, go into each hypernerb and grab the path you want. Why can't I grab these paths? There we go. Okay, now only click the path. You don't want the hypernerb to. I don't know why that happened. That just kind of, you know, messed up. Okay. Now, I have five letters in my name, so I'm going to drag out five Reaper FX. Actually, take that back. Just drag out one so you can, you know, start with this one, then copy and paste. Okay. Um, so I'm going to drag the L under it. And as you can see, it kind of, you know, already goes to work, but you got to adjust it to make it look not like that um normally I keep the coils kind of high like um almost 80 ish because it just it looks you know cleaner I'll take down the radius and distance a little bit so you can see the inside of the letter uh, that's a little bit too much there we go okay um I normally keep the three strands because like it covers the whole front of the letter and I kind of like that look but if you don't want to you can just, um, you know, raise the strands. It makes it like 
the more strands you have, the more circular it becomes, and the less it kind of like, you know, looks like it's looping around like that. One just looks like a wiggly wave, two and three, and you get the point. Okay? All right, now that you have it looking like you want it, just take off the L real fast so you can copy and paste this. Okay, copy and paste that four more times because, well, for me it would be four. I'll do one too many because I have five letters. Okay. All right, sweet. Now um, just drag the outside color, which for me would be gold, to each Reaper FX. And you know, just so it colors it. There, I think that's looking pretty cool. All right, that's really it. It is very, very, very simple to use. Hold on, I'm gonna let this render out so I can show you guys. It's gonna take a while though, because I have a slow computer. I'm just gonna pause it, and then I'll be right back in like you know, a minute. What's up guys, I'm back. Now that the render's done, you guys can get kind of a look on, you know, what Reaper looks like when it's done. I think it looks pretty good. Um, you can do a lot with it, like, if you bring it into Photoshop, you can kind of mess with, like, each little strand and color it differently, or you can, you know, raise or decrease the brightness of it. But that is basically the tutorial today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a comment and a like, and please subscribe. Also be on the uh, the lookout because at 500 subscribers, I'm releasing a graphics pack, which is, you know, it's going to have a lot of good stuff in it, you know, color corrections, stocks, um, textures, grunges, all that fun stuff. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and, you know, just stay active. Thank you.